What's up guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel if you guys are completely new. Hello, I'm Sincerely Nico. In today's video, we're gonna be doing something that I already done before, but I did it on Instagram, now I'm doing it on Twitter. So I'm gonna be letting you guys on Twitter pick out my makeup. And I did a generic poll of just basic items and I allowed you guys to pick which option would you guys like to see, which brands you would like to see on today's video. And I'm gonna be putting them on for you and creating a look. So if you guys are interested in these type of videos, and definitely come and chill with me and watch this video if you guys have not subscribed make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and join the exo squad we get it hey, on this side uh, uh, hey oh ooh, ooh. <laughs> hit that subscribe button join me here on youtube and let's get litty and started with this video All right, so I'm going to start off with a little bit of skincare, get my skin prepped before I go in with all of the good products you guys picked out for me on Twitter. I'm going to start off by using this good molecule. This is the Pure Cold Press Rose Hip Seed Oil, which is a rich anti acid. A rich anti-acid face oil that delivers natural vitamin A and helps restore skin elasticity. Now I know I am combination oily and oil usually is like the least thing that a lot of oily people tend to not go for or do but surprisingly oil helps me keep my makeup on, helps my skin stay balanced and not produce more oil throughout the period of wearing makeup or in general throughout life. So. I like this rose hip oil just to kind of prep the skin and allow anything else just to kind of like sit naturally on the skin. Also gives a little bit of glide as well too on products. So let's foundation, let's primer because it helps carry and blend over a larger surface. All right, so the first question I asked on Twitter was what type of makeup look you guys want to see? Do you want to see an Instagram style makeup, a soft glam slash 90s style makeup, or a rainbow slash colorful look? 84% of you guys said that you want to see a soft glam slash 90s makeup. And that's that's what I've been feeling. And I'm, I'm, I'm happy you guys are feeling the same way I'm feeling too. So we're going to be doing a soft glam Look, I'm going to be featuring a new eyeshadow palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills, which is the Nervina Volume 4. This bad boy just came out, and I was trying to figure out a way to actually use it on camera, and this would be a perfect time to do so because it literally screams soft glam. This is like a big sister to the modern renaissance, but a little bit more pastel-y. I am here for it. All of those brown shades scream my name to create something. Also, those plum shades. The pink shades are a little bit of aggressive for me because you guys know I really don't do too much pink on my channel. Um, but maybe I might step out of my comfort zone. And there are also pressed glitters in this palette. I'm not going to do too much of an in-depth review of this palette because this palette has been reviewed so much on YouTube. And I'm not going to be that girl to keep on beating a dead horse. And I... Ooh. So I'm just going to go ahead and just get into creating this soft glam look for you guys with this palette and slaying the scene. Alright, so for brows I'm going to be using some, oh wait, 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 well y'all said something about brows, let me, let me go back to this poll to see what y'all said y'all want for my brows. Brow products, you guys had the choice to uh, for brow products you guys had the choice to uh, protect. For brow products, you guys had the choice to pick between ABH, Benefit, Minty Cosmetics, or a drugstore brand. You guys pick Anastasia Beverly Hills. The Queen of Brows. And y'all guys picked it 39% out of all options. So, you already know, I have tons of ABH brow products. So, it's easy for me to slay my brows with ABH. So I'm going to be going back and forth between two brow products. Well, one of them is a brow product. One is actually a eyeliner slash waterproof cream color. Um, I'm going to go between chocolate, which I just got a brand new one in the mail. She's very much red and warm tone. 
and the watercolor, which is Sable. I really love this because it's, it's a red tone, but it's not as super cool as Ebony or Granite. It's like right in between chocolate and Ebony. So I'm gonna go back and forth between these two when filling in my brows. I'm gonna speed through this because you guys see me do my brows plenty of time on camera. There's no need for a tutorial. There's no need for no step-by-step. We just gonna zip through it. Um, yeah. Brows are pretty much done. Um, I'm gonna go in with my moisturizer, which is the Milk Makeup Moisturizer. She's a little thick, like I always say, but she's a really great moisturizer because I really want the hydration to be here because the foundation that I'm going to be using is matte. You guys pick your, I already to make sure I ain't looking like Crusty the Clown, crusted and busted. We're gonna go in and do the eyes. I'm going to use the ABH eyeshadow primer to prep my eyes and I'm gonna jump right on into the volume four Arena eyeshadow palette. Just looking at this palette, a lot of the colors definitely scream my name, especially this bad boy here. She definitely gives me what I need. Ah, uh, that's pretty. I think I'm gonna do that combination there and then on the lid, I'm gonna keep it very much as soft wash i'm not gonna do too much of a shimmer moment so i might end up popping this on the lid and maybe a bright color depending on how i feel in the inner corner instead of a shimmer i'm just gonna keep it real matte for this look today so i'm gonna go ahead and take this anastasia a10 brush and I'm gonna jump into B3. All right, so this shade right here is really pretty. It's very much a warm terracotta color. This would be pretty as a blush as well too. So now that I have that color on, I'm going to switch to something a little bit more smaller as a brush. I'm gonna switch over to the Morphe M456. And then I'm gonna take the shade D5. And I'm just gonna start carving out the crease even more. So this is actually coming out really cute for some odd reason. I really didn't think that these colors would definitely melt or mesh together very well, but B3 and D5 are, she's looking a little, a little snatched. She's giving me what I want. So I'm gonna deepen this up a little bit. I'm gonna jump into the shade E. Four, and I'm going to use another Morphe M456 brush and I'm just going to start deepening up where I want this shadow to look. Then I'm going to switch back and forth between another old brush that I used with the um, B3 shade, the first shade, and I'm just going to kind of buff all that together and melt everything down. Come out really pretty. Okay, so the eyes are pretty much looking really cute, really plummy. I'm gonna take a little bit more of the B3 shade and I'm just gonna kind of like buff and blend just a little bit more so that everything looks seamless, looks effortless. It's all about the blend. So now I'm gonna cut my crease very loosely but I'm just gonna use a little bit of the ABH eyeshadow primer and this paint brush that I found at the Dollar Tree, which is surprisingly super good to cut crease pieces with. I'm just gonna take that and then I'm going to do a cut crease. Okay, so the lid is pretty much sliced and diced to where I need it to be. I'm just gonna round this a little bit more. It's like I always just end up doing this side a little bit more flatter for some odd reason. Yeah, that's that's pretty good. That's pretty good. And I'm gonna go in with a flat shader brush and pack on my lid shade. So I'm gonna take the shade D1 from this palette and I'm just gonna pack this right on top of that primer and blend it right on out. Keeping it real soft. This is really, really cute. You can definitely do shimmer, 
But for me, when I think of like a 90s soft glam moment, I definitely think of like all matte and then maybe a soft inner highlight, inner corner highlight. But just the whole lid is just like completely matte. So I'm gonna take the watercolor sable that I used in my brows and I'm actually gonna use this as a liner. I'm gonna take this Morphe M217 brush. Okay, so now that the eyes are aligned, I'm gonna take a little bit more of that E4 shade, and I'm just going to tap and blend a little bit around and on that brown watercolor liner. So yeah, this is coming out really, really cute. This is a simple, mm, it's not really simple, it's very intricate, because you guys know I'm a little I'm all over the place a little bit. Girl, shut you. up. Well, not a little bit, a lot. <laughs> this is what I was able to whip up with this palette using how many shades? Four shades? Somebody ain't doing the math right. Using four shades and a liner? This is really cute. I stand for her. She's T. She's T. She fits right on in with the rest of the girl. Actually, she might be that girl. Low key. Oh, now that's how you clear a bitch. All right, so now that that is done, the eyes are done, we can move on into doing the face. And for foundation, you guys had the option of picking NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation, Fenty Foundation, Milk Makeup, or Uma Beauty. 44% of you guys said you want to see Fenty Beauty on this face. So I'm going to be using Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Matte Foundation, Soft Matte Foundation on this face. I haven't worn this foundation in so long, so let's pray she don't show all the pores and then some. So for the shade, I'm going to be wearing 445, which is one of the newer addition shades to the foundation line. And for the jawline area, I'm going to go in with 450. So I don't have to do too much color correcting and just go ahead and blend this right on out. So for concealer, I'll give you guys a few options. I asked you guys if you want to do Fenty Concealer, the Juvia's Place Concealers, Uma Beauty, or ColourPop. You guys, again, pick Fenty to be my concealer. So I'm actually going to be using two shades, shade 410 and 420. And I'm going to take the shade 420 first. Correct where I need to correct. and then blend that right on out. Then I'm going to take the shade 410, pop it a little bit here, here and here. Just target highlighting where I need the coverage, because I, I I've been kind of like slowing down on concealers. Um, I can usually over D or O dose, over D. I usually overdose on concealers, so I'm just trying to like slow down on concealing so much around my face and only highlight what I really need to highlight. And as you can see, I still have that brightness effect that I want from the concealer, but not putting so much concealer on my face. 
just go over that just a little bit so it looks like it's a natural natural blend right here this is the shade 450 so I'm just taking it right here between where the concealer and the bronzer meets just so it looks real natural I'm literally taking a little bit blotting off as much as I can on my makeup palette and then just tapping the in-between areas so I'm not using a sponge today I'm just going to do all brushes for everything take a little bit of that right here on the forehead as well setting powder gave you guys the option to pick between ABH black radiance hourglass and RCMA no color translucent powder with 39% you tie between two ABH and black radiance I don't know how I'm gonna make this work, but I have to make it work for you guys because that's what you guys wanted to see. That's what you picked. That's what we're gonna do. Alright, so I have my ABH and Black Radiance powder. I'm gonna do banana for one, which is to be the under eye. And then for the rest of the face, I'm gonna do the shade Honey Moon. I'm gonna take this Sephora number 73 brush. This is like a blush brush, but I love to use it to use setting powders with. So I'm gonna take the shade Honey Moon gonna set the face where the cream products were before I go in with my powder bronzer I'm not gonna set the whole face because this foundation is like super matte and I don't want the super mattness I still want to kind of look a little bit of luminous wherever I can or skin like wherever I can and the bottom half of my face definitely look like skin so I want to kind of keep that momentum going with this look so I'm not going to set the bottom half of my face before I set my under eye I'm going to take this Maybelline fit me powder in shade 330 toffee make sure everything is blended out I'm gonna do a light set of this color under the eye nose and then I'm gonna take my setting powder from AB8 in the shade banana and then I'm going to set on top of that and this is going to help give me the color that I want but also a little bit of blurring action and the setting powder gives me that blurring action all right, so it's time to bronze. You already know. Hula from Benefit, Fenty, Morphe, or Black Radiance. Y'all did it again. Y'all want Fenty, y'all getting Fenty. 61% voted for Fenty. So y'all, y'all just want a whole full face of Fenty. If y'all could just get it, huh? If y'all just could get it, y'all will want a whole full face of Fenty. So I'm gonna take my Fenty bronzer, this is in the shade Mocha Mommy. And I'm just gonna go ahead and bronze up the face. I'm gonna be using this Morphe E58 brush. I heard that this brush is discontinued. This is a really good bronzing brush. All over the face brush in general, she's a really good brush. Looking good. I'm looking a little snatched. Don't you agree? <laughs> <laughs> So I asked you guys to help me pick my blush. The options were Black Up, ABH, ColourPop, or Drugstore. You guys pick ColourPop. I only own a one blush from ColourPop, unfortunately. But she's still a cute color. So let me go ahead and pop on this blush. And that is from the Under Construction Collection with Makeup by Shayla. Makeup Shayla. And she's like a little cute, little peachy tone, shimmery moment. And I, I can deal with it. I can get down with it. I can get jiggy with her. So I'm going to go ahead and just pop her on. She's in a shade called Construction. And I'm just going to doop, 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 doop. Doop, doop, doop. It's like a light flesh tone pink. All right, for highlighter, I'm going to use my Patrick Star Hot and Heavy Face. Powder Opalescence, 
which is like a illuminating powder to get my little glow on. That's pretty much it, y'all. So I'm left to put my lashes on and my own personal lip color choice for this makeup look and we're pretty much done. So I'll be right back with the completed look. All right, y'all, I'm back. Face is finished. This is the completed look. All products picked by you guys, except for the lips and lashes. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it wasn't too long and too enduring, if you catch my drift. Um, if you guys did enjoy, make sure you guys hit, give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up. If you guys made it this far and you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. I do a lot of tips. If you guys made it this far and have not subscribed, I do a lot of tips, reviews, and techniques on my channel. I do have a personality. It might be a little bit of dry. It might be a little bit of, you know, soft humor. But it's here. Um, yeah. Okay. Like, <laughs> yeah. Hey. How you doing? So hit that subscribe button and join the EXO Squad family so you guys don't miss out on any videos. Turn your post notification bell on to all. Not just turn it on, but turn it on to all so you guys can get notified every time I upload a video. I'm gonna go ahead and hop off of here and eat me some lasagna. Finish talking to this bitch, this lesbian. I'm a bull dagger, as I consistently get homosexual. You trying to get my page demonetized. I'm gonna hang up on you. <laughs> delete, delete. <laughs> I'm gonna cut that out. I can't. All right, I'm gonna end this video here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I'll holler at you guys at the next one, right? Peace. Yeah, I like black people. Black can only mean one thing. Ever since I left the city.